Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll look at automating the SAP GUI or SAP GUI with Worksoft Certify from ECC to S4 HANA. In this demo video, you will see how existing Worksoft Certify processes will run when you upgrade your SAP GUI and apply them to the SAP Fiori visual themes when these things change. But the UI and your processes will run without edit. Worksoft Certify processes built in an ECC system with older SAP GUI, say prior to 7.5, are still valuable and will run without editing when you upgrade them to your SAP GUI, say 7.5 or newer. Um, when you move your SAP system, say a Greenfield or Brownfield, to an um, S4 HANA based system, learn how your assets for SAP GUI testing will still run without rework because of the new SAP GUI themes. So Fiori is a design concept or principle, not a technology, and, and we tend to overuse this term. But the idea is SAP has gone to a, a user experience based, looking at user-centered design for people, how do people's roles and responsibilities work, and they've done decomposition and recomposition of our traditional T codes. They've adopted new technologies with web and open standards. Now we see browser-based applications. It uses the new SOA architecture and in-memory computing of HANA. And then they've looked at really simplifying the business processes and making them cloud ready. The intersection of all three is actually what HANA is, or actually what SAP Fiori is. So in the past, we've had themes, we could flip our themes in SAP GUI. So you could change from signature theme to classic theme, you know, the screen stayed the same. We just kind of changed the icons a little bit and the colors themselves. Then Blue Crystal came around and it kind of aligned to what we started seeing within the, the um, browser base of SAP. It was still a variation in colors and themes and, the, and maybe the cursor and fields, but most of the core was the same. The OKCD OK field, the toolbar, the navigation, the consistent labels, input fields were the same, and tables were the same. Now, when you go into SAP GUI, you'll notice there's this new thing called Accept SAP Fiori Themes. So what this does is this actually modifies what's happened. Um, you'll notice the, the toolbar buttons have moved and different things have happened. But what this does is this visual theme now matches what we see in the browser. For example, the um, system information is moved to the upper right. The toolbar is gone. The OKCD OK field looks different. And the save button is not in the same spot. Um, it's down in the lower part of the, the UI. So this is SAP GUI, but running in this Fiori visual theme. Now in this case, this is the same transaction in the browser. You'll notice I've got a browser on the top of the screen. So the look and feel are very similar, if not the same. So if the user needs to start being trained on how to use the browser-based applications before they move to it, they can actually flip the themes in the SAP GUI and start working with them and figuring out how things have changed, the layouts and the buttons are different themselves. So a big question I get is, what about my ECC6 tests? Worksoft Certify understands the SAP GUI. We really understand how to work with it. If you write a test in SAP GUI in ECC6 with the backend, that's great. It will run when you turn on your Fiori themes in 7.5, even though you still have ECC6 in the back. It will run with 7.6 when it defaults it for you. Um, and then we get questions like, well, what if I click the save versus use it as a shortcut? The buttons move themselves. Certify knows what to do to modify the tests at runtime. So you don't actually edit your tests at runtime. We dynamically ask SAP GUI, what version are you? What, what mode are you in? And we then pick that up automatically. And even the status messages have moved around in the display bars and that, we'll just pick them up for you automatically. No need to edit your tests. Strictly done by the runtime engine for you. So what does this look like? So being a good, um, automation expert, I'm pretty lazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a certified process to the, do the demo for me. I'm going to capture all the screens so we can see it because it runs pretty quickly. I'll kick it off. So I can see SAP GUI opened and this is a, a very, you're used to seeing this displays on the bottom, the save button on the top and it worked. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change on my 1610 to the new Fiori look and feel. So what you'll notice is it'll open the options, we'll set the Fiori themes, 
and now the colors are different, the fonts are different, um, I'll use the same data, but a lot of stuff's in the same spot, except that save button moved onto the bottom of the screen, right? So now I'll actually log into an 1809 system and run the same process. In this case, you'll notice the Sultan and Shifty party is a little different. So this looks very similar to what we have in the browser. What happens is the um, we see the century cycles there, the different Sultan party, Shifty party, and it's completed. Now that may have happened so quickly you didn't see everything that happened, right? So let's go look at the certified results. Okay, so if I come here, I can actually go to the step image so I can see the first time this ran, I've got the screenshots here to show me all the data. So the buttons are different, the status bars on the bottom of the page are different. The second time I ran this process, um, I entered similar data, but what we'll see is that there's, oops, a little bit differences. So the UI, the look and feel is different. Oops. And I can see that um, I'm using the same data, but my save button is going to be now in the lower right hand corner of the screen, right? So structurally, the first time the save was in the top where I expected, now it's on the bottom. And then um, I've changed my menu structures, but the same test still ran. That's because at runtime we figured that out. Okay, and this third time, when I look at this, I'll see this is actually going to have some different data in it. So this is a century cycle, so it's a different data here. Um, so it's proving it's a different system. And same thing here. The, the tables are a little bit shorter. They've modified the structure of them so they fit on the page better. There's no scroll bars on the tables like I had in the other one. Save buttons here, status bars on the bottom of the page. So one of the big questions people have is, you know, how do I, um, what do I need to do to modify my tests because these things have all changed? And in reality, nothing, because the certify engine at runtime asks SAP GUI, which mode are you in? Are you in, are you against a 1809 or an earlier system? So we'll see the differences between the tables for you. So if I scroll down here, I can see the tables are different here. The way they scrolled is different. I've got the um, the status bars are different. And then back up to the first run, which was basically a very classic IDA system itself, um, it didn't matter. You notice so I didn't actually change anything in my test. Um, I clicked the save button here. The status bars came up at the bottom. So the nice thing is I don't have to worry about modifying my processes because they are forward compatible. Thank you for your time. Look forward to getting feedback on the YouTube channel and look forward to more updates in the Certified channel on working with Fiori-based user interfaces.